So I always <clears throat> like to take the opportunity to talk about some of the benefits of the community of having a municipal utility. So every year we update this financial analysis on the benefits and we put the benefits into kind of two key buckets. The first is lower rates. So we do a lot of benchmarking of our rates for all three utilities, electric, water, and comm. And every year we compare that to benchmark averages and look at what the benefit is to our customers of having our low rates. And for 2022, it actually went up significantly, the cost savings all the way to $5.4 million. A lot of that was related to lower electric rates, and I'll talk more about that at the next slide. But that's a benefit to our customers versus paying average benchmark rates that we compare against. Now on the other side is free services to the community. It's another great benefit of being a municipal utility as we provide services like free utilities for electric and water to city facilities, street lights, and traffic signals that we uh, install, maintain, and operate, fire protection throughout the system, uh, and then customer rebates and energy services uh, for our customers that we provide. And that came up to about $2.3 million of additional uh, savings to our customers last year. So in total, in 2022, $7.7 .7 million in savings by having a municipal utility, and that's over $300 for every single, res uh, every single resident in Muscatine for 2022. So that's significant. And this is, Mark touched on this a little bit, but uh, the electric rates across the country were very volatile in 2022, primarily because of those high natural gas prices. Utilities were having to put adjustment clauses in and collect more money from their customers to offset those high natural gas costs. So we've compared, we have data through November, but in all of the customer classes, you can see the national average rate increases were significant, you know, from 11 to 18% for industrial customers. And you compare that to our actual results for rate increase uh, for our customers here in Muscatine, an average of 1.8%. Very, very stable. We had planned and budgeted for a 2% increase, so we came in a little bit under that even. But when you compare that to what was going on across the country, significant savings to our customers uh, and a huge benefit to Muscatine. So the result of that, these are our rates, our average all-in rates for each customer class um, for 2022. And you can see we've got electric here and water on the right. We continue to compare very favorably to our benchmarks uh, for both electric and water. And because of that difference in rate increases in 22, the spreads for the electric rates got even wider, so even bigger savings to our customers. And these are significant. You look at the commercial class, this difference between the national average and our rates is about 25% savings to our commercial customers. And on the industrial side, it's even greater. It's about a 28% uh, lower rate for our industrial customers than what they could see uh, on a national average basis. So that's a significant to our large customers. And on the water rates, we continue to compare very favorably to our surrounding larger communities, uh, especially for the customers that use higher volumes of water. Because we have relatively low treatment costs for every gallon of water, those higher volumes uh, can be provided and sold at a, at a very low rate, even with those chemical cost increases that Mark talked about. By relative terms, when you compare it to other communities, still very, very low. So that's what we have planned. Um, hopefully that may be a kind of a good overview of what we've been up to for 22, as well as an outlook for what we have planned financially. Uh, in the coming years, but happy to take any questions that you might have. Uh, do you think the natural gas markets have largely baked in the shortages caused by the conflict in Ukraine, and or do you see uh, you know volatility more uh, in the future? Yeah, let Mark take this. The uh, guys have turned it off. For uh, natural gas prices, uh, we're exporting the U.S. It's exporting mm -hmm. about as much LNG as it can to Europe. So that, that's really taking the natural gas out of the U.S., out of domestic supply. So uh, those prices don't have as direct impact on what's going on with us. You see a big disconnect with what prices are in Europe and what prices are here in the U.S. for natural gas. That started to narrow a little bit, but I don't think that what's going on in Ukraine or will have that much impact. There will be efforts to increase LNG exports from the U.S. over time, and getting that facility back um, mm -hmm. uh, increase that export of LNG. So that will put pressure on prices. But when we look at the forward curve right now for natural gas, it's pretty low. Thanks. Yeah, I think 
But as Mark's saying, you definitely see that big spread because the U.S. is kind of capped out on what it can export. But I think that dynamic is going to continue to maintain as demand in other parts of the world increase for gas and the U.S. continues to have a low cost production, uh, you'll continue to see increase in exports um, and that will have an indirect impact on the price. I didn't catch it. Did you say what the rate increase was planned for the electric utility? So it's, we're expecting modest, uh, somewhere around 1% to 2%, I'd say. Um, I think we, in our budget, we estimate about 1%, 1, 1.1% 1 .1 base rate. And, but we're, we're in the middle of a cost of service study now that we're working with our uh, outside consultants to do, and we'll be bringing back to the Audit Finance Committee and the board in March. But I would expect the base rate to be probably in that 1% to 2% range. And the other thing we're doing there is uh, looking at how it allocates among customer class, again, just like the water side. So you could see different increases for different classes of customers. Yeah, so coming off of that really strong year in 22 sets us up well for another level adjustment next year. And do you keep a chart of your historical rate increases over time? Is that... Is that available to? Uh, it, yeah, it could be. We do um, when we do any rate adjustment to the board. We that's one of the things we provide is that kind of historical uh, rate adjustment table. But I can certainly get that to. Okay, thanks. Last year you talked about uh, the decommissioning of, of current uh, units, and uh, could you touch on the decommissioning of nine? If that time frame is still the same going forward, and if the planning and, and construction of a natural gas fired uh, facility is still on where you were a year ago or is that altered yeah that's a good question so i think that those details are the things we'll be talking about with the board at the february meeting we'll be sharing at that customer forum on march 6. as doug said when we're coming from the last study uh, we're following up on a lot of those plans and we have updated assumptions on costs and operational details for that chip unit and now we put back into the model for the power supply study so we plan to review kind of our updated outlook on things uh, so um, more to come just in the next couple weeks as far as details on that. Very good. but I, I would say in general though one of the big themes that's different from 2019 2020 when we did the last study to today is the market the MISO market has gotten much more strained on their capacity outlook. Uh, for a long, long time, MISO had excess capacity, so they didn't have much value in the market. And as we've seen more retirements of baseload units, um, that, that balance of capacity and demand has really shrunk. And actually, in the last year's capacity auction, MISO was short on firm capacity in the auction. So that's definitely different from what three years ago, that outlook on the balance of capacity. So, the value of having capacity installed in the ground is definitely higher now than it was a few years ago. So that's one of the big assumptions that we baked into the current study. 